Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Trail Tarot and I'm here with the astrology for July and today we're looking at Gemini so check out your sun, moon, rising or Venus I just want to say if you're looking for personal reading all the details are down below so check that out if you'd like to check out my deck shop there's over 90 designs of Tarot and Oracle for purchase if you'd like to support me further you can join my Patreon from just £3 a month and when you join any tier, you get a free reading from me as a thank you. So thank you for your love and support. So for the highest light and love for Gemini, what do they need to know about July? So we've got the star. The magician. Seven of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Why is the star there? Got six of pentacles. Wow, ace of cups. Queen of cups reversed. Three of pentacles reversed. Okay, so we've got the star energy which talks about healing and wish fulfillment clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So I feel after you've been healing, you're going to manifest financial stability and abundance here and balance within your life. And you have, you are the magician, you know, you have the tools at your disposal and you're manifesting your desires. And part of that could be a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups here. And also I feel you're in that energy of self-love. But with the Seven of Cups, there's confusion around love or confusion. Maybe you've got too many choices. And we've got the Queen of Cups reversed here. Okay, so maybe you're not meeting people with love um, to offer. Okay, that could be the confusion. But we have a Knight of Pentacles energy here, which is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, slow moving energy, clarified by the Three of Pentacles reversed. So again, the Three of Pentacles upright talks about collaboration. But this is a lack of collaboration. So it could possibly be somebody, maybe you've been in separation from somebody, okay? And they were not, you know, you weren't on the same page. And this could person could be returning. So we'll go a bit deeper. So why is the star there? We've got the Eight of Swords. So right now you could be stuck up in your head, okay? Overthinking, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. You know, you need to get out of your head, and when you do that, we've got the Ten of Cups coming in here. You're manifesting a loving relationship. And maybe you've struggled with that. Maybe you, you know, you've had that confusion. Maybe you've been dating around and there's been people that are non-committal. You know, people that are not on the same page as you. So why is the Seven of Cups there? Yeah, we've got Queen of Swords. So this is your energy. So again, maybe you've, you know, you've got very blunt with people you've had to start speaking your truth you've been very protective of your energy because people were not being honest with you and you were being honest with them okay and we've got the knight of pentacles so who's the knight of pentacles who's the knight of pentacles for the highest light and love so we've got the sun so this is somebody that is going to bring happiness and joy your way Okay, so this is somebody that is going to make you happy. I mean, obviously, we make up, we should make ourselves happy. But I feel it is somebody bringing in what you're looking for, which is that commitment, that balance. And with the Six of Pentacles, we've, we've got judgment energy. So you are going to get your rewards here. We can see that in love and finances. Okay, good things are coming towards you. And you just need to get out of your head. And yes, there's a solid offer coming in with the Ace of Pentacles in love. A brand new start. So why is the Queen of Cups reversed there? Uh? Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Yeah, we've got three of Cups reversed. So maybe you were put into a third party situation, okay? And this is something you didn't want, obviously. You walked away from that situation with, with it in reverse. Somebody could have put you into a third party and you didn't know that. And, you know, that's why there was no relationships that came out of that, because people were not being honest with you. 
So why is the Three of Pentacles there? Yeah, we've got the Fool card. So you're ready to leave the past behind. You're ready to have a new beginning. And you're tapping into your intuition more. And you become stronger. You know, you're strong. You're emotionally strong. You're mentally strong. You know, you've overcome a lot. Maybe in the dating arena. Maybe in life in general. So what's the outcome here? What's the outcome? Wow, we've got Emperor Energy. So this is your divine counterpart if you're a feminine. This is your masculine. And they're very passionate about you. They want a new beginning. They want to, you know, they want to really build a firm foundation that's going to lead to a commitment. This, yeah, Hierophant. This person wants to commit to you. Wow. And this is your Two of Cups. Wow. How beautiful is that? This is your Two of Cups coming in after a lot of disappointment in love. Wow. Okay, so let's look at your life lessons. What does um, Gemini need to know about July? Stay focused on your goal. So we saw the magician energy there, but you're in your head right now, so you need to get out of your head. You know it's time for change. You know, you, you've not really been enjoying the online dating thing, but somebody is on their way towards you as you decide you don't want to as you decide you're not going to put up with that anymore change comes in yeah it's confirming self-imposed imprisonment so you're stuck up in your head so you need to get out of your head and do some clearing or cleansing on your energy yeah use willpower to overcome any obstacles and i feel you're going to do that and sudden changes in your life. So this could come in very unexpectedly. Wow, the sun is about to shine in your life. So good news, happiness and big passionate feelings. So very passionate connection here. Beautiful energies and a communication comes in. So somebody's going to be reaching out to you very soon. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Love and blessings.